Hello everyone, I'm Greg, and this is Sam, and uh, we're from Hello Goodbye, and we're so thrilled to be here today, I had no idea there were going to be so many people, um, and we're excited to share our story. So, Hello Goodbye is a new online travel app, um, we're a Toronto-based startup, we're launching in North America very, very soon in the States and in Canada, and with Hello Goodbye, you can simply text or speak your travel plans into our messaging platform and we'll come back to you in just a few seconds with a customized itinerary. So when we were thinking about building our application from a customer experience perspective, we looked at the market and we came up with a, a good insight. And I can look across the room right now and see there's a few of you on your phones. And what is, it that, what is it that we do on our phones every day? We text. We text and text and text. And my mother always yells at me because I'm not talking to her. I'm texting my friends and texting people around me. And so we looked at very successful applications in the marketplace today and we saw that companies like WhatsApp and companies like Facebook Messenger have hundreds of millions of users on their platforms every single month. And then when we did further due diligence, we discovered more data that showed us that millennials, for example, send on average 67 text messages a day. In fact, there's 100,000 text messages in America alone sent every single second. And so when we looked at this, we said, from a customer experience perspective, how can we make booking online travel better? And so that's how we created Hello Goodbye uh, with this messaging platform that you simply just text your travel plans and it creates an itinerary. And we thought, how cool would that be? Imagine if I could just text I want to stay at a hotel tomorrow night in New York, or I want to go away for two weeks to the Bahamas with my wife and my kids and have an answer come back. And that's what we created. And we've created a fully digital platform in the sense that there are no people. We've built an AI bot or an intelligent travel bot that understands the context of travel. So you can ask it whatever you want as it pertains to flights and hotels. And as we grow, we'll get more content. So you'll be able to book car rentals. You'll be able to do vacation packages. And then we'll be moving into in-destination where you'll be able to ask for things like concert tickets or a sh tickets to a show on Broadway. So we want to show you what we've done. And Sam and I are actually going to New York in a few weeks. Or actually, we're going on a road trip to meet some investors to try to raise more money. So we're going to show you the application. And I'm going to go, uh, go ahead and show you a moderately complex itinerary with the goal of making it easier to book travel online and saying goodbye to forms and fields that we're all used to with the online travel sites of the world today. Okay, Sam, are you ready? Okay, let's make sure that everyone can see our application. So this is the Hello Goodbye web version. We'll also be launching on iOS and Android. And as you can see, there are no forms and no fields. You just type whatever you want. Okay, Sam. So. Fly me to New York on October 10th, then fly me to Chicago on October the 13th, then fly me to Miami on October 17th, then fly me back home on October 20th. So notice this is much easier, right? There's no forms, there's no fields. I know what you guys are thinking. You're thinking about Expedia and how you have to go there and use the drop downs and figure out the calendars and you don't want to deal with it, so you just give it to your travel agent or you give it to your executive assistant. And in the time that Hello Goodbye here is thinking about this itinerary, you're still on those other websites trying to figure out how to get this to work. So here we go. So we've created our entire itinerary here. This is what we call the grid and these are tiles. So I've got my flight from Toronto to New York, New York to Chicago, Chicago to Miami, Miami to New York, all fully scheduled. But you know what, Sam, instead of flying back to New York, I want to fly to Las Vegas instead on October the 20th and then fly me back to Toronto on October the 22nd. Now you can't do this online today. If you were trying to do this online, you would literally have to start over again, put all your information in forms and fields and calendars, and this would take you about 15 to 20 minutes. We can do this in 15 seconds. Notice that um, the information here is very colloquial. I'm saying Vegas. I'm not saying Las Vegas. I don't have to put in the airport code. And there you go. We've inserted Las Vegas into the itinerary. But I also want a hotel. So, Sam, I want to stay mm -hmm. at the Duane Street Tribeca Hotel in New York for three nights. And so with travel today, everything is done separately. So you can book your multi-leg flights, and then you have to go book your hotel, and then you have to pay for everything individually, which is very, very annoying. Here, Sam's just typing this in. 
With Hello Goodbye, you can search by hotel name, you can search by neighborhood, you can search by points of interest, by address, and you just get the results that you want. So again, I'm showing you this. Now I'm at the Dwayne Street, Dwayne Street Tribeca Hotel for a few nights. And Sam, you're going to join me as well, right? Preferably, yeah. Okay, so Sam, why don't you join me uh, at my hotel. So let's just say Sam will join me in my hotel for three nights in New York. Now notice that I don't even have to give it a date because with Hello Goodbye we've built an intelligent algorithm for scheduling so we know we have context of where you're going. Think of Hello Goodbye as a sentient artificial intelligent agent that has the context of what you're saying. So if I was talking to you and I said I'm going to New York, I wouldn't have to say I need a hotel in New York. I could just say I need a hotel there. Hello Goodbye has that sentient capability. And there we see Sam. He's staying in the same hotel as me. One of the cool things about Hello Goodbye is if our employees travel for more than four hours, they get to fly business class. So Sam, I think you're going to LA, right? That's correct. I'm running out of time here. So Sam, let's say Sam will fly to LA, direct business class, and now we're going to create an itinerary where Sam is flying to LA. And so you can see in what, two and a half minutes here, we've created a complex itinerary by just using our voice, by just typing our itinerary, and we're done. So uh, before I wrap up, the last thing I wanted to point out is you can go to checkouts. And unlike other, some other websites where you're taken to another site to book your hotel or your flight with Hello Goodbye, you can pay for your entire itinerary within the application. You can split payments. Each person can pay for their component of their trip on their credit card, and this is perfect for group planning, up to nine people at once. Uh, the last thing I will say is if you guys like what you've seen in this demo, you can email us at techto at hellogoodbye.com, and we will give you immediate access to the prototype. So you can play with it, you can share it with your, with your friends, and hopefully we can get some traction. Thank you. I'm sure there are questions. Hi. Uh, excellent uh, technology. Very impressive. Very impressive engine up behind there. One question, though. I've, I use the online websites, Expedia, and so forth a lot. How do I know that these are the cheapest flights and cars and hotels and so yeah. forth? So that's a great question. If you look at all the uh, online travel sites today, they're all ubiquitous. They're all exactly the same. They all have forms and fields. And there's one thing they all compete on, and that's price, right? So Sam, if you go back into the application, uh, one of the things you can do with Hello Goodbye is you can set your preferences. So instead of giving you everything, like all other websites do, like hundreds of options and having the feeling like you're going into a shopping mall and you're going to spend the whole day finding the cheapest hotel or the best hotel for you, Sam, if you just go to preferences for a second. Sorry, my bar is cut off. Um, oh, well, you can go into preferences and you can create a travel profile and you can tell Hello Goodbye what you like. You can say, I want nonstop preferred flights, I like Air Canada, I like this cabin class, or I like four-star hotels, I like these hotels. We pull our data from the same source that all the airlines pull it from, as well as all the same uh, source for hotels. So we use what we call aggregated content switches. So our prices are the cheapest available prices based on your preferences. So in this example here, You'll notice that Sam and I have different flights because I like WestJet and Sam likes Porter, but it's going to find him the cheapest available flight from those airlines based on my preferences. Make sense? Hello. When you're pitching this to investors or when you have been pitching this to investors, are you doing B2B or B2C? And if not, or why not one versus the other? To me, it seems like a natural B2B play, actually. Yeah, we're going B2C first. Uh, we we want to get those rogue travelers that are tired of using their, uh, what would I say, antiquated booking travel apps in the business space uh, that are complicated. We believe that once we have the market, the B2B space will follow naturally after that. So we actually have been in stealth mode for the last year or so. We have already had numerous requests from large corporations saying this would be perfect for our company. We have lots of business travelers that travel every month. Can we get this? And we're moving in that direction. But Hello Goodbye will be available for all consumers. As I said, we're launching on all platforms very, very soon. Yeah. 
Hi. Um, so I'm a big fan of uh, chatbots. Wrote a couple of my own. Uh, but one of the biggest problems faced by chatbot developers currently is that uh, it takes too many keystrokes for any kind of query. So let's say you want to look for a flight from Toronto to New York. It takes, uh, or like continuous flights all the way to LA. It can take up to 100 keystrokes uh, just for a simple query like that. Whereas if you have a more traditional graphical interface, it could take uh, maybe just 20 keystrokes. Uh, so uh, how do you guys plan on overcoming that? And in uh, keeping that in mind, why do you guys choose to use a chatbot, chatbot platform uh, as your interface? So from our perspective, it's all about putting the user in control. The, the biggest issue that we see with GUI-based UIs, forms and fields, or touch buttons, or whatever you want to describe it, is that you're limited. You're limited by what that field or what that form will allow you to do. Or as versus if you're typing it in natural language and you ask it whatever you want, you get whatever you want, and you have full control through the entire search and book process. Now, I could just as easily have typed a 500-character paragraph to Hello Goodbye, and it would create an itinerary for me in 15 seconds. So for me, I don't really, it doesn't really bother me that I have more keystrokes. As long as I know what I want, I can ask for it. And as I also mentioned, you can speak to your phone, I mean, people don't really speak to their computers, but you can speak to your phone and ask for whatever you want, so we don't really see that being an issue. Thank you. Thank you.